Hey guys, Mr. Lopez here with today's Glow Devotional. Today we're going to be in Romans 7, 24 and Titus 2 and verse 11. Romans 7, 24 and Titus 2, verse 11. It is the day before the 4th of July, July 3rd, and I am starting to think about the sacrifice that men and women have made over the ages for America to be free, to have gained its independence on that day, to have said that we are a free nation apart from any other nation, and we were able to worship in the way we wanted. Today is a special day, thinking about what's going to be happening tomorrow, all the festivities and all the fun we're going to have. I can't wait to get to church on Sunday and be able to have Red, White, and Blue Sunday. It is going to be a great and glorious day. But you know, there is something that we can celebrate beyond that. A sacrifice that someone made for us that is beyond just a sacrifice for an independence of a nation. It paid the price for your sins and for mine. It did absolutely everything. And it says in the Bible that it was done while we were yet sinners. That Christ died for us even then, before we knew him, before we even said that we accepted him as our Savior. He had already done something for us. So let's go to Romans 7, 24. And it says, O wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? A question. Who is going to deliver from that body of death? Who can possibly do that? It's going over to Titus 2.11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. The grace of God. Something that is absolutely undeserved. We don't deserve it at all. Now let's talk about us as we know things. Let's say that maybe you did something wrong and mom and dad were upset about it. You went and broke the rules and now you are grounded. You have no rules or you've got nothing that you can do for the next two weeks. You have been uh, your video games have been taken away. No television. You have certain things that you have to do for the next two weeks. And your little brother, he gets invited to a birthday party and he wants you to come. And you've been invited as well and mom and dad have said no. But your brother continues to plead for you. He says, I want him to go. Is there any way he can go? And after all of the begging and pleading, mom and dad give in. And they say, you know, this one time we're going to allow him to go. That's grace. You didn't deserve it. You shouldn't have done the things that you did. You needed to be grounded. But the fact was, they were going to allow you to go. And this is exactly what Christ did. He died and paid the price for us. The question was, who is it that will deliver me from this death? Who is it? And we know the answer is Christ. He died for our sins, for yours and mine. So God has given us this grace, this undeserved thing, something that absolutely we did not deserve. So today, as we're going into our Bibles, guys, think about that. It is a huge thing to know that while you were yet a sinner, Christ died for you. You didn't even know who he was and you didn't acknowledge him as your savior, but yet he still had already paid the price for you. He paid the price for your parents, for your grandparents, for me, for your teachers, for your principals, for your pastors. He paid it for all. All it says there, it says all men. And I love that. So today talking about things that are undeserved, just knowing that we don't deserve God's grace. We don't deserve the sacrifice that he made for us. Dying on the cross, God having sacrificed his only begotten son for us. Having done that while we were yet sinners. Knowing that the only way that we could get beyond this death, beyond what we deserved, was the death of his son. And that undeserved grace that he gave to us. Guys, I hope today, as you went through those two verses, that I know they were difficult and maybe you didn't understand all the words in them. But talk to your parents. Talk about what it is that God did for us. And I pray that you can just glory in the fact that he 
gave you grace. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. We'll see you next time.